People always ask us, how did we actually come up with this concept of jellyfish? Um, so it goes back to uh, when we actually were sitting there together as co-founders and, and trying to figure out what roles we're going to play. And I, I think two of us kind of looked at each other and, and said, uh, like, I don't want to run engineering. He's like, I don't want to run engineering. And well, well why not? And I was like, well, because it sucks. Right? Why does it suck? Well, it's because everyone's always yelling at you. Um, and, and, and we're like, well, just unrolling that. Why is everyone always yelling at you? Well, it's because, you know, they don't understand, right? You know, business and engineering are often historically at odds. They don't understand how the two kind of fit together. And so the net result is a lot of just trust me and, and some yelling. And, and, and that same conversation, we quickly said, well, actually, this is actually how sales was in the late 90s when we started our career. Um, I, I think people forget. I think everyone assumes today that metrics is, are, are ubiquitous in sales. It is the most hyper-instrumented um, department. We know how many phone calls have to happen. We know how many meetings. We know what the pipeline looks like three quarters out. We know what's going to happen and, and, and how things are looking in a healthy way or not. But you have to remember... You know, two decades ago, it was you know a cell phone and a notebook, and uh, trust me, I got the quarter, right? Um, and eventually, you didn't have the quarter. Um, and it's easy to forget that that evolution only came about because of things like Salesforce. When they arrived, um, you know, in 04, by the time you moved to like five years later, every company's running a CRM and had rich data um, on the sales side to answer these questions. But before then. It was an open-ended, trust me, I got the quarter. And so you know, we posed at that moment, well, why can't we do this for engineering? Um, why isn't there a system that actually helps us understand what's actually happening on the engineering side so that we can make better decisions and so there's less yelling?